When it comes to high-powered phones, the Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8 are two of the must-have Android handsets of 2014. Both have 5-inch Full HD displays and offer blazing quad-core processing power. And with both of them packing huge batteries, running the latest version of Android 4.4 KitKat, and with both coming in at a similar price point, it's tough to choose between the two if you're in the market for a new handset. So we've decided to look through both handsets to see which offers the best choice for you. When it comes to power, they're both packing some pretty impressive internals. The HTC One M8 has been given the quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor with a clock speed of 2.3GHz, which means you'll pretty much breeze through any task you put its way. The memory stays the same at 2GB, but that doesn't seem to slow down the handset one bit. And we were mightily impressed with the graphics performing brilliantly on some of the latest games on the Google Play Store. And when it comes to the Galaxy S5, it too has the kind of high-end specs you'd want to find in a flagship handset. Like the HTC One M8, the handset has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor, which is quad-core but clocked a little higher at 2.5GHz. However, it did seem a little bit more on the sluggish side than the M8. Overall, we'd say the HTC One M8 just takes it in the speed department, but neither phone will disappoint with any high demanding tasks. The display obviously plays a huge part of both handsets, and this time around they're both packing some pretty impressive smarts. Despite numerous rumours of a 5.25 inch screen, the Galaxy S5 display is only marginally larger than the Galaxy S4's. It's 5.1 and if you are hoping for a new crazy high resolution, then you might be disappointed to find out that the Galaxy S5 has now a very standard full HD display. Of course, it's still a super AM OLED as you would expect from Samsung. HTC has decided to increase the screen size from 4.7 to 5 inches, so there's a little more real estate for whatever you're doing, but the difference isn't too noticeable. The screen resolution, as with its rival, remains full HD. However, the larger screen means a dip in pixel density to 441 ppi, but you're not going to really notice. The phone itself is a little bigger because of this, but HTC has done a good job to making it feel like it's the same size. These are two stunning smartphone displays. Leaving stats aside and viewing them side by side, we can't honestly say that one is better than the other. When it comes to looks, the Galaxy S5 retains that recognisable Samsung aesthetic. This means that not much has changed in comparison to previous generations and other Galaxy devices. The S5 looks a lot like the Galaxy Note 3, and it also feels like a premium smartphone in the hand. The HTC One M8 looks a lot like the original. Once again, the Taiwanese firm has used a unibody aluminium design, but the metal wraps around the front rather than having a plastic strip around the edge. The corners of the phone are also more rounded. It has a brush look and has been treated to gain its glossy finish. When it comes to their camera departments, the Galaxy S5's camera has reached a decent 16 megapixels and has a few new features which will catch the eye. Super fast autofocus means you can take a photo in just 0.3 seconds and a selective focus mode allows you to choose from three focal points after you've taken a photo, near, far and pan. Video shoot in 4K resolution like the Galaxy Note 3, which is very impressive. And the back of the HTC One M8 is home to two camera lenses. HTC calls this Duo Camera, and it's one of the main new features on the smartphone. The first camera, the one close to the middle of the phone, is the Ultra Pixel camera found on the M7, with some improvements. At 4 megapixels, there isn't much detail in the photos in comparison to the M8's rivals such as the S5, but because the pixels are much bigger, the phone is better suited to low-light situations. The second camera is an interesting addition, and it's there to capture depth information. This metadata is attached to the photo taken with the main camera, and can be used later on. Similar to the Lytro camera, the HTC One M8 Duo camera allows users to refocus the photo after it's been taken. When it comes to the choice you should make, the Galaxy S5 is fast, well-built and fully featured. It has a big, bright and bold screen, a good camera and offers good storage and connectivity options. However, the HTC One M8 is slightly faster, although it will be hard-pressed to notice the difference in either area. Both phones offer interesting new features and offer their maker's take on the latest version of Android. Ultimately, it will be pricing that determines this battle, as well as personal preference on which design you prefer. 
At the moment, with its better speed and sleeker design, we're leaning towards the HTC One M8. For whichever phone you choose, you're safe in the knowledge that it's easily one of the best smartphones on the market, with little bad to say about it.